Uh, given the success that Fairfield had attacking the zone, did you consider making a change at all, or were you set it, set with the two three, and for the rest of the game? Well, we had um, we had some problems containing them in man to man, and uh, they got their threes in the first quarter um, against our man to man. So uh, we felt like we slowed it down a little bit in the zone. So that was behind the decision to kind of stay yeah, with the zone. It seemed like Fairfield was moving the ball up the court, you know, like mm -hmm. really quickly. And what can you say about the, the ball movement there for the Stags? Yeah, they, you know, they, they did a really good job, um, you know, playing playing with pace. You know, they had a week off since uh, they last played. So they had a, a, good, a, a good amount of time to, number one, get fresh legs, and number two, um, you know, have a have a week to, to game plan. And I thought they came in. Um, with a lot of energy, you know, and, um, and and putting pressure on us um, to get up and down the floor. You know, in the first half in particular, they get 21 points off turnovers and 11 second chance yeah. points. So how much of a of a difference do you feel like that made uh, in, in the I, outcome? I, I thought that um, I thought they did a very good job of capital capitalizing on our mistakes and miscues. You know, we had um, even even when they didn't necessarily get points, we just had way too many um, uh, mistakes and miscues, and um, you know, and they they did a really good job of of taking advantage of those. Is that one of the quicker teams you've faced this year in terms of the way they're able to move the ball around? Do you feel like? Um, I mean, they're pretty they're they're pretty good at what they do, you know, and they've got good shooters and drivers and. Um, they do a really good job of, of passing the ball and making the extra pass and finding open shooters. And now I'm um, having dropped uh, two or three heading into your Thanksgiving break yeah. tournament. What's kind of the focus or what are the biggest things you feel like need to be improved on? Well, I, d I think the, the biggest thing is, is um, getting these pieces to play to, to fit together. That's, that's the thing that, um, you know, we're still working on is getting, getting the parts to work together and fit together better. Um, so we gotta, we gotta figure that out. We gotta figure out how to make all these, these new pieces um, fit together. And it's, it's a little more challenging than um, we all want it to be, but it, it's, that's, that's the challenge is how do you fit these new pieces and um, people into new roles and all that kind of stuff. How do you, how do you, how does that come together? And it's just taken longer than any of us would like. So, you know, we'll keep keep plugging away and see how how quickly we can get these these pieces to fit together. Any certain aspects uh, you feel like you need to focus on heading into this weekend? <laughs> All of them. You know, I don't think there's uh, you know tonight. Um, I don't I don't think there was um, any any real flow on either end of the floor. So, you know, we've got a we've got we've got a lot that we've got to try to um, get get fitting together. Going off that about the, uh, you know, the new pieces you're talking about fitting together, you know, just wanted to ask specifically about Destiny Adams, obviously in foul trouble today, but you mm -hmm. have her playing a very different role than mm -hmm. she w was at at North Carolina, obviously. Um, just, you know, seem to have some flashes of shot making, playmaking, despite the, the issues today. How do you feel about, you know, what she's showing in terms of, you know, making that progress that you just talked about yeah I think she's shown that um, you know she's a difference maker for us and um, you know she's very talented and very versatile and that versatility is something that um, we've got to we've got to be more um, we've got to exploit a little bit more because she's she's able to do a, a, a lot of things out there and then, you know, like you said before the man to man to start off obviously allowed a lot of threes, mm -hmm. but um, you know, last three quarters of the game held them around like 15 points per quarter. Did you feel like you know the switch at least you know gave you a shot to get back in the game? Yeah, I thought the zone gave us a shot, and and uh, but offensively we just never could really find a rhythm um, offensively. So yeah. Um, how important do you think the the Stags three point shooting in the first quarter was in, in their win tonight? Well, I think it was very. <laughs> I think it was very important to their win. I think the, them coming out and um, being able to knock down those shots gave them a lot of confidence and, um, you know, obviously gave them the lead and they were able to play with the lead for the rest of the game. So I think it was, it was very important for their success.
And they also had uh, 38 points in the paint. What did you think they were able to do offensively to get down low and convert from close to the basket? Well, I thought they did a really good job of um, driving and kicking, and they had cutters, and so they're getting layups against uh, against the man and the zone. So, yeah, their cutting action was really good. Um, Coach, it, you started the second half on a run, cut it to an 11-point deficit before Fairfield eventually pulled away. It seemed like every time you went on a run, Fairfield had an answer for it. What went into that? Well, I thought they um, got into when, when we went on the run and cut it to 11. Uh, we came off the timeout, and they got a couple of, I think, three consecutive transition baskets. And that was, you know, kind of deflating for us. Anything else for Coach? Great. Thank you, guys. Thanks.